by this stage, I'm starting to run out of exotics that really need optimization. I figured I'll cover a few of the subclass neutral exotics, as they can still have good and bad builds, but some of the specific exotics I won't need to optimize, such as the Praxic Fire, the Impossible Machines, and the Nothing Manacles, as they can only specifically work with one subclass or perk node. But getting on with this episode, let's look at the transversive steps. Released in Rise of Iron, the steps are a unique exotic that can be used in any content and with any loadout, obviously having more potential with some weapons than others. The perks that can roll on the steps are fixed to the special heavy ammo node, which is a real seller for this exotic, and you can have any of the elemental double down perks. I've never really understood the point of this perk on exotic boots, particularly when legendary boots have superior versions of this perk, like Second Wind and Last Hope. But still, you can re-roll the steps to have whichever element you like. The exotic perk grants increased movement speed while crouched, and will automatically reload weapons when you pick up their respective ammo type. So you're really getting part of the Nightstalker's Keen Scout perk for the increased crouch speed, but the auto-reloading perk on ammo pickups is the real key to this exotic. As there is literally no link to any particular subclass, building for the transversive steps is entirely optional. Although, if I was to use a Radiance build with fusion grenades, I'd probably go with Starfire Protocol. Or if I was to use a Scatter Grenade build, I'd probably go with the Nothing Manacles. The steps might be decent for a Stormcaller, since the only other specific exotic for the subclass is the Impossible Machines, which are nice but are by no means a necessity. So assuming you'll go with the Stormcaller, use the perks you like, but personally, I like Electrostatic Mind for team play, with Transcendence and Rising Storm for PvE. In PvP, I'd probably switch Superconductor around for Ionic Blink, or maybe even try Arc Web to get some crazy grenade arc chains. I should also mention that since the steps have mostly fixed perks, it is worthwhile to reroll the steps to be tier 12 capable. My roll of 134 is at 99%, which works well with my recommended 552 stat configuration. There are definitely cases for a 255 or other tier 12 melee builds, but I tend to always max out my Intellect and Discipline for a Warlock. So we'll start with the exotic perk that grants increased crouch speed. Outside for some very select uses, I tend to overlook this perk. The only place I tend to see the steps used for this reason is the siege engine fight when carrying components, or maybe the abyss when your weight of darkness stacks are full. In PvP, duck walking as I believe it's called is pretty effective at times, as it can make you harder to detect on the radar, and can give you bonuses to accuracy and weapon flinch. If you do find yourself crouching a lot for whatever reason, the steps will at the very least give you a speed boost. The other half of this exotic perk is the reason why you'd use it, as getting a free reload just from picking up the respective ammo type can have its use for multiple playstyles. When used correctly, you can pretty much ignore weapon reload speed as a statistic if the reload is instantaneous, and you can have the potential for a near endless stream of damage, assuming you have the ammo available. I've seen some interesting clips of people using Pocket Infinity in Full Auto and the Fourth Horseman by constantly topping off the mag with the steps. In practice though, it would be great for sustained fire with slower firing weapons, like a machine gun. With the corrective measure, for example, I can continuously fire it while walking over to the heavy box on the ground, pick it up and continue to put rounds down range without letting go of the trigger. Most of the time, this exotic will be working for you without you even noticing, and soon you'll get into the habit of just switching your weapon when the mag is empty, instead of reloading it before stowing it away. So to summarise, the steps are very usable in PvE, but will ultimately depend on ammo drops and how you use them. The potential of the steps can vary from just a handy exotic to a complete damage monster. One thing I should point out is that the steps do actually work in the Crucible, but recent changes to the ammo system means that when you pick up a crate of special or heavy ammo, the bullets are auto-loaded into the gun for you, as if you've already had the steps equipped. For this reason, the viability of the steps plummets in PvP, and I would recommend using something else. The only exception would probably be something like in Mayhem, where the boxes of special and heavy ammo that drops from Guardian kills are not auto-loaded into your gun, but outside that, put away the steps for the Crucible. So would I use the steps in PvE? Yeah, sometimes. I haven't personally used them enough to appreciate what they could do for you, but I'm curious to see what kind of damage output I can do with them in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching, catch you on the next vid.